So this is just one way that you could hook this up. For my particular setup, this is the easiest way, but you could also do this by looping the band around a kettlebell um, or even like a stationary bench or something that's bolted into the ground. Uh, whatever you use, just make sure there's a little bit of tension at the top of each rep. And then from here, it's just a tricep extension. You wanna make sure that the hands are going back behind the head, that you're controlling the rib cage, not letting the back arch as you go up. So you're kind of keeping a little bit of a tuck the whole way through, getting some hamstrings and abs, and just finding that sweet spot with where your elbows need to go in terms of not feeling too much in the elbow. It's also really important to find the appropriate hand spacing where your wrist and your lower and upper arm are all kind of in line. There's always gonna be some degree of elbow flare going on here, but if you're feeling a lot in your elbows, you wanna kind of recheck the hand spacing, make sure that everything's as in line as possible. And you also wanna make sure that you're moving your shoulder back, as mentioned before, as you descend into the lift.